from my own point of view, um, I've been in football management now um, 40 years, I think, now, and uh, it's by far the most difficult week in my career by an absolute mile. It's um, the traumatic, you know, I can't, um, even now, I can't get my head around uh, the situation and, um, you know, uh, when I look at Romino and the family, etc., etc., I think it's uh, it's such a, a difficult time. I think you've got to, you know, I keep looking at my own children and, and, uh, and thinking what I would be doing now as well. So it's a, it's a, a very traumatic for area, but my sympathies are with them. I think... Uh, I think the the family has been fantastic, and a, and a massive plus to uh, our fans and Nantes fans. I think they've been amazing as well. It's, it's what I called a scruffy football, an ugly footballer, and I said that's why he'll go down well with us. Not just his gear, but the way he does. But he 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 gave everything, 100 percent, every time he played. It wasn't always play, he didn't always play well, but he scored some great goals, and I think he just the challenge. He was so looking forward to it, and. You know, when you've worked hard for two months to get somebody like that, uh, uh, and uh, you know, you really feel like I did on the Newcastle game. I felt, you know, this is a turning point in that respect. So, they are massive blows, but um, you know, I think we'd all agree that we'd rather have Emiliano here and, and, and get relegated. And you know what I mean. And um, I think life's far more important than, than football in that respect.